So we have a chart, and we want to reverse the series and the chart legend. So let's take a look. We have this chart here. We have company B values in, as a negative, so they're on the left-hand side, and company A values are positive, they're over here. But we want an easy way to be able to flip these back and forth. That was just the requirement. So let's take a look here at the solution, and then I'll walk you through the different steps. Uh, so basically, let me just turn this off here. We'll start back at zero. But we'll just take a look at what this actually does. Here's a drop-down list. I'm going to pick company A, and it's going to change, flip these values to go over here, and also flip around the, the title here. So I select company A, and now these values are here. Company B is there, and I'm going to switch it back to company B, so it's on the left-hand side. So step one was just to insert a stacked bar chart. So you select your data, and here in the ribbon you say insert, and you go over here until you find the stacked bar chart. It'll be in here. So it's right in here. You click in there, and you'll see your stacked bar chart. All right, let's go to step two. What we want to do is copy-paste the data values to the right. So I took the original values, and I pasted them over here. That's simply the step two. Step three is another quick one. Here we simply add a data validation drop-down list, data, data validation, and I simply uh, go in here and I refer to just the uh, column B and column A. Or you could type the values in, just so that we have company A and company B in the drop-down. Now, now it's going to get a little more complicated. S step four is really how this whole thing works. I'm now in this area, so the chart is still looking at these two columns right here. And I'm putting a formula in here, and I'm saying if E8, which is our drop-down, equals company B, then give me E13, which is the value right here, multiplied by a negative 1, because we want the, uh, it to be negative, so it's on the left-hand side. And then else, I want E13 not multiplied by negative 1. And now in this cell, C13, we have something very similar. If E8 equals company A, then I want D13 multiplied by negative 1, else simply D13. So you see how when you look at the two values here, one is going to be negative, one's going to be positive. I also have a formula here so that this gets flipped around dynamically. So let's, instead of looking at the chart, when I change this value, let's look over here instead and we'll see what happens. Because these formulas are basically looking at the drop down list and then taking the data from here. So let's just look at this highlighted area right in there when I change this back to company A. So it sort of moves the numbers flip back and forth. And the final step was to add a chart title. Um, and when you click on this, you see that it's referring to H12. And in H12, um, I just have, let's go to that cell. So I'll type in H12 in here and in, in the name box here in the top left. And I'll press Enter. And that is behind the chart here. Where is H12? It is right there. So I'm putting together those two things to create uh, my little chart title that will dynamically move around and change.